of six months, I've grown about three to four inches of hair. Why do I think that doing this to my hair has helped to grow my hair? What I did was made two changes. Those two changes changed everything. <laughs> Hey guys, thank you for clicking on this video as always. Um, I'm fresh out the shower, just washed my hair. Um, so I thought this would be the perfect time to come and give you some tips and answer some of your questions. So I'm talking about length retention and hair growth in this video because the other day I kind of realized that my hair has grown a lot in the past, say like five to six months. I cut my hair about six months ago and initially it was meant to be a trim but then I ended up cutting about three to four inches off my hair um, and since then I think I've grown about three to four inches back. Um, I feel like I'm back to the length that I was before if not a little bit more. So within the space of six months I've grown about three to four inches of hair which I would consider quite fast hair growth. So in this video, I'm gonna explain my hair care regimen, what I've been doing in those six months. So I'm going to be putting my hair into some chunky braids as I explain my hair regimen, which is actually one of the main reasons why I think my hair has grown so fast. So just to explain first, I'm going to do eight braids on my hair. My hair is currently sectioned into four sections. As I go through, I'm going to split that section in half and then do two braids per section. Okay, so I'm going to use the Eden Body Works Hydration Custard. I've never used this product before. It smells amazing. Oh my God, that smells so good. I don't always use this product. As I said, it's the first time I've used it. I choose from the selection of products here. Um, yeah, when I braid up my hair, I just switch up the products all the time. Um, I don't stick to the same one. Why do I think that doing this to my hair on majority of wash days has helped to grow my hair? First of all, it's reduced the amount um, of wash and goes that I do. So I've basically replaced wash and goes with putting my hair in these chunky braids. Um, Wash and goes look great. I love a wash and go, but for me, they are probably the worst thing for my hair. I get endless single strand knots. Um, my hair gets drier easily. For me, it takes more manipulation um, because the amount of times I actually have to like run my fingers through my hair to get the product all the way through, um, I feel like there's probably some breakage there. Um, my hair gets tangled, um, yeah, so all of the above plus more means that wash and goes are not good for my hair, they increase the amount of breakage and split ends and single strand knots. So getting rid of wash and goes and doing this instead reduces the amount of all of those problems. And with a braid out, so if I was doing this to actually like rock a braid out, um, Braid outs are healthier for your hair because all of your hair is clumped together in like the same direction um, in the braid. Um, the, sorry, I'm finding this, <laughs> this is actually really difficult to talk <laughs> and do my hair at the same time. I thought this would be easy. Yeah, so the reason that braid outs are better for your hair is because um, all the hair is clumped together in the same direction in the braid. As it dries, there is no opportunity for the hair to get tangled around itself or around other strands. So there's no single strand knots or minimal single strand knots. Um, your hair stays detangled because it's dried in like uniform, like because it's all clumped together and dried in the same curl pattern then it's less likely to get tangled, which means that you don't have to put as much effort into detangling. And no matter how gentle you are with detangling, there's always gonna be a certain level of breakage and damage. So the less detangling that you have to do, um, the less breakage, which means the more length retention. 
Um, another benefit of braiding my hair up like this is that it is easy to re-moisturize. So I'm doing this now on wash day. And if I really wanted to, I could leave these braids in for a whole week and just rock a head wrap, which I've done and do do quite a lot of the time because I am lazy. So yeah, sometimes I would just put these braids up into a ponytail and wrap my head in a head wrap and rock it, rock it like that for a week. Um, and then I will re-moisturize maybe every third or fourth day. To re-moisturize, I just take down one braid, spray a tiny bit of water on it, add more product to it, put the braid back in and then do that on all eight braids on my head and then keep it in for however much longer I want to. Even if I'm taking down the braids, so say for example if I put these braids in my hair now but then tomorrow I want to wear my hair in a high puff, um, I will take the braids down tomorrow, wear the high puff for maybe two or three days and then I will put my hair back in these braids by gently sectioning my hair back into the four sections and go through as I am now, but I'll spray my hair with water, then add the product, then rebraid it, and then I will do that. I will only rebraid once or twice before washing again, but it just makes re-moisturizing super easy, and the whole head of hair is getting re-moisturized rather than just the ends. With a wash and go, you can't really re-moisturize your whole head of hair without having to wash it, um, because otherwise the wash and go just won't look the same. So length retention. If you don't know what length retention is, this is what you need to be focusing on rather than hair growth. The reason being is that your hair is always growing. Like people will say, oh my hair's not growing. Your hair is growing. You're just not seeing the growth because you don't have length retention. So basically what you need to do is think of ways, learn your hair, like learn to recognize ways that you are minimizing the breakage on your hair. Minimizing breakage means you're retaining length. So your hair is growing at this rate. If your hair is breaking at the same rate that your hair is growing, you're never gonna see a difference because your hair's growing but your hair's breaking at the same rate so your hair is gonna stay at the same length. If you're minimizing your amount of breakage, your hair is going to continue to grow. So you're gonna get minimal breakage, but the, the growth is faster, so you're still gonna get length. That's what you need to aim for. You need to aim for your damage and breakage to be at a much slower rate than your growth. I feel like doing this has basically made my breakage basically nothing. Um, so I feel like I'm getting zero damage on my hair, which means I'm getting all the benefits and seeing every inch, every millimeter of growth that I'm getting, which is why my hair has grown and seen the length so fast. So what do I mean when I say learning your hair? Basically, you need to learn to listen to what your hair likes, what your hair doesn't like, what it needs, and yeah. It took me a while to learn my hair, but it's like building a regimen. So there was a while ago when I, maybe like two or three years ago, when I was following all these natural hair rules and thought that co-washing um, every time I wash my hair and then shampooing once a month but deep conditioning every time I co-washed my hair and, and deep conditioning weekly and all of this I thought they were the things I should be doing to my hair so I was doing that religiously and I was like yeah I'm following this sick hair routine my hair is going to be super healthy, super long no, it didn't work like that so then I was like, okay, clearly my hair is not liking something that I'm doing. So I'm listening to my hair. If your hair is not cooperating, it's because it's trying to tell you something. What I did was made two changes. Those two changes changed everything. <laughs> so I started shampooing every single time I washed my hair. I ditched the co-washes. I'm not a fan of co-washes. I'm not telling you to ditch co-washes because they do benefit some people, I know that, but for me, they do not help. I don't like co-washes, I never use them. So I shampooed my hair every single time I washed my hair, and I stopped deep conditioning every single time I washed my hair. I now only deep condition around every four to six weeks, which I know to some people is absolutely crazy, <laughs> but my hair just doesn't like that amount of moisture. My hair likes to be completely clean, which is why I like shampoo, 
and it needs minimal moisture. So shampooing and using a normal conditioner that I rinse out when I'm in the shower is enough for my hair. And I wash my hair around every five to seven days. Once I changed my routine, my curls were popping. If you're having the same sort of struggle, maybe just try swapping out some things in your routine. Um, make sure that you don't make 10 changes all at once because you need to be able to identify which one thing it was that you changed which has made your hair better. It is all about trial and error when it comes to learning what your hair needs. Once you learn what your hair needs, that's when you're going to see your hair flourish and grow and be super healthy and long, if that's what you want. Of course, not everyone wants long hair. So basically, my tips for growing long hair is to stop focusing on growing your hair, stop focusing on the length and focus on the health of your hair. Because honestly, I can't stress this enough, you're not gonna see length if your hair is not healthy. Like, you're just not. It's like anything, if you're sat in the kitchen staring at the oven waiting for your pizza to finish, it's gonna feel like that pizza took an hour to cook rather than 15 minutes. So if you're focusing too much on the, the rate at which your hair is growing, it's gonna feel like so much longer, it's gonna feel so slow. So just completely forget length. Focus on how healthy your hair is and learn to love the hair that you do already have on your head and then more of it will come and it will come quicker than if you are focusing on the length. Um, so yeah, I hope that was helpful and I hope I wasn't rambling too much. <laughs> Um, if you do have any other questions, um, please leave them below and I'll do my best to answer them. If you are on a hair growth journey, I challenge you to do this to your hair and wear a head wrap for seven days out of the month. I feel like that even that could make a difference. So if you do wash your hair every week, um, one week, so like the first week of the month, you're gonna braid your hair up, you're not gonna take the braids out, you're gonna wear a head wrap for the whole week, and then the rest of the time you can experiment with styles and everything. Um, but yeah, I challenge you to wear your hair like this for at least a week out of the month if you are trying to grow your hair. Um, if you do that, tag me in pictures of you with your braids and you with your head wraps and all the different styles that you can do. Um, and yeah, let's grow some inches together. Um, I'm on a hair growth challenge. I just wanna see how long I can get my hair. I don't have a target. I don't think you should have a target. Um, but yeah, I'm just trying to see how long my hair can get. But yeah, at the moment, I'm just gonna grow it and see how long it will get and have a massive, massive fro. But yeah, if you did find this helpful, make sure you give it a thumbs up, which will keep it in your saved video so you can refer back to it. Um, leave any comments below, make sure you subscribe, and yes, as always, thank you so much for watching. If you got to this point as well, thank you for watching because I do feel like I was rambling. Um, but yeah, I hope this was helpful. Bye!